Hello YouTube and welcome back to the channel. This is Kevin the Katy Hill Farmer and today we're going to get our boots back into shape. As you guys can see, they're getting a little, yeah, they're getting a little dry. So we want to take these boots and we're going to get them to shine back up. We're going to use some oil here guys. What is that? The Neats Foot 100% Pure. And all you're going to need is some scrub brushes. Most time you can use what you use on your car or whatever, get you a rag to wipe the oil in with. But guys, before we get into the video, I'd like to say thank you to everybody that has subscribed to the channel, all you new subscribers. If you like what you see, guys, go ahead and subscribe. We have a lot of fun on the channel. Also, <clears throat> come check out a live stream with us. We usually have a good bit of fun. We give away some hats, uh, some fun stuff like that. So come give it a try. And... If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. Also, we get, we've been getting uh, some stuff from hunting season put back together. Like I said, towards the end of the video here, we will definitely show you the before and after of getting these scrubbed up. And you guys can follow this throughout the whole video. And all we're going to do is get some, you know, clean the boots and put a nice oil layer on them, maybe two, depending on how well it soaks in. And uh, all that does, it saves your boots, it keeps them from drying out, keeps them kind of waterproof here and there, you know, helps a little bit right in there. But uh, other than that, let's get to it. We'll have some fun toward the end of the video. You will get to see these older boots shine again. So follow like along. I said, guys, here we are. It's uh, February. I just now got my blind in. And what I'm doing is I got it popped up in here so we can let it dry out and before we put it back in the bag and store it for the summer uh I'm, i thought about using it turkey hunting but this is uh the baronet ox i believe it's called guys i need to do a video on it but man this thing is roomy i mean you could you could put a cot in there and sleep if you wanted but let's get back into the video it's about boots we're going to get them cleaned up and we will show you the difference at the end of the video and also just a nice little reminder towards the end so stick around let's go ahead and get into it we're going to get these okay, things guys, so like i said all you're going to do is you're going to start out with a brush and all you're trying to do is remove the heavy dirt on this these boots ain't that dirty they're just kind of dried out and that's what I want to get the most. Like I said, try to get all that hard. Here's a little bit of dirt right here. Get that tip good. Just don't take long, like I said. I also have another brush. That's what I use just to knock off the loose dirt. These boots ain't that bad, more or less that, that's just kind of where they're dried out a lot and have lost their uh, oil. And all you want to do is you want to keep scrubbing. Like I said, get all that stuff off the best you can. I don't like using water on my boots, guys, for the simple fact is it soaks in and it, it wears out your boot earlier, so it dries it out. Right here on the heel, and it's coming off there surely but slowly. bit more go ahead and wipe this table off from all the dirt like I said I'm just scrubbing it to get all the stuff off and I'm gonna bring you guys in for a so what up. you see there is just dried out leather this boots pretty pretty clean uh, right through there is just dried out like I said that's where it's getting a lot of wear, but what we're going to do is we, uh, 
we're going to take this soft bristle brush. We're just going to get all that dirt off there like that. Get all that loose dust and stuff off. And we will take our oil. I'll, I'll link this below in my affiliate link. And what I'm going to do, is I'm going to put a couple dabs of oil on there like so. And I'm just going to kind of do a circular motion. And we're going to get this rubbed in. I really like to concentrate on the toe of the boot. And it is soaking in very good. Shake that up again. But like I said, you want to get a nice even coat. On these boots, it's hard to get right down in there where the rubber meets the leather. What I usually like to do is I'll take a little extras and I'll just rub it right in there. I ain't like that. Never hurt it a bit. Get that rubbed in. And what I'll do is I'll chase it the whole way across that rubber, that bottom, that boot. If I have to, I'll go like that. Wasting a little bit of oil, but you're getting it right in where your boot is going to wear out. That's where it's going to fail first because of the moisture in it. That's just my opinion. It's not a fact, just my opinion. And then I'm going to rub and rub. These things are soaking up the oil. Usually they don't soak it up, but it's been a while since I oiled them. Here's what we're looking at so far. As you can see, we got down inside of the boot very well. And when I say inside that, like I said, that's where all your threads are and you want to keep it. Now, a lot of you are saying I do have a little dirt on my rag. And if I was really wanting to shine these up, yeah, I would probably want them a little bit cleaner. But all I'm doing is I'm making them so they can't wear out. And what these are a pair of Justins. I'm not sponsored by Justin by no means. I'm just kind of showing you how I work the oil in now on my I boots. I do try to find a lint-free rag. I just couldn't find one. Like I said, I'm not going for perfection. I'm just going for oil getting on my boots. If I want a professional, I'd probably get it professionally done or something. I don't know. But like I said, right now, I just want to get a good layer of oil on my work boots and especially right there in that crease. I want to get that good. Now, I'm going to warn you, you can go all the way up your boot, but if you do, when you go to put these boots on, it, you will get some oil on your pants, which I'm going to. it that looks pretty decent like I said I wish I'd kind of okay now since I got the base layer on what I like called base layer now I'm just gonna go over with a microfiber I'm just gonna wipe it down like this get all that excess oil off there let that boot soak it up and there you go now, again, I'm going to go ahead and do this part of my boot. If you do not want to get oil on your jeans, I suggest you not do it. But I'm going to let these dry good so it really don't bother me. And as you can see, it's darkening up as I'm rubbing it in. And I'm putting it on heavy because I don't, I do my boots about once a year. And what I really like about the oil is it softens them up. Other than protecting them, it softens the boot up. 
And that's what I probably like the most about it. And it makes them look a little bit better sometimes, but we don't go for looks. So if you're out there splashing or in the cow pasture or whatever, belling hay, you don't go for, I guess you ain't going for looks. You're going for getting the job done. Again, I'll put this in the, the oil I use in the link. We got about everything. That's actually nylon right there, but I went ahead and put some oil on it. Okay, and there is a boot done. As you guys can see, it didn't take very long to do that at all, and it done a very good job. I won't go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and give you a close up of the before and after. You gotta get a thumbnail, you know, but. Okay guys, this right here is the before. And this is the after, as you can tell. Again, after, before. After, <laughs> before. So again, as you can see, and what I was talking about, I get deep down in those threads right there. So that way the oil gets in there, but Again, also guys, if you do this part right here, you are gonna get a little bit of oil on your pants, but I think that worked out pretty nice. We're gonna go ahead and do the other one, and we'll come back and wrap this up. We gotta brush it out a little bit more. It's got a little bit of dirt right there, but not too bad. They're not okay, too dirty. Okay, guys, like they're done. This one's still, as you can see, it's still kind of wet, but they are drying right now we'll leave these dry might put them in front of the heater a little bit i don't know let them get dried out probably put another coat on them that's how easy it is guys you take five ten minutes out of your day put a little bit of oil on your boots and make them last forever well i shouldn't say ever nothing lasts forever but it'll make them last a lot longer than not doing anything with them like I said, and I think that helps a lot getting oil down by your threads or where your sole hits your boot, the leather. But, uh, and you can wear rubber gloves. I don't mind the oil in my hands. It's winter time. And that's why I like messing with my boots in the winter. That oil will soak in your hands also, make them all soft and nice and all that. You guys know how it is. But anyhow, everybody, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. And here, here's what I wanted to say. Guys, one of the live streams, one night, I'm thinking about doing a big, probably a big Amazon gift card giveaway uh, when we get more people coming in the live streams. And uh, plus, plus a John Deere hat, probably doing two giveaways. And tell me what you think. Put your uh, opinion below and tell me what you guys use for oil on your boots because I'm not saying this is the best way but this is one of the better ways and better oils I found, like I said. Right there you go, you can get that on Amazon. I'll try to remember, put a link on. I know it's in my store, but I will try to remember. And like I said, this, last time I done these last year, about the same time, and have worn them a year, and you've seen the condition of them. Now I do take the pressure washer to them every now and then, blow the mud off of them, of course, but other than that, not much, but when you're tromping around cow manure and cow pee, and it's it's hard on your boots. But I like these because they're easy to slip on. These are adjusting boots. So, but all right, guys, appreciate you watching, and we'll talk to you later. See ya.